Thank you for joining us. This is the Illinois Association of College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. A few housekeeping things before we get started. Use the Q&A button below on your screen if you have any questions for the reps at all this evening. You can ask these questions at any point during the evening as well. Remember your microphone and camera is off so we can't see or hear you. So the Q&A area is the best way to communicate with us during this session. This is the final session of the evening, but also make sure that you know that the recordings of this session coming up in two weeks that you can find at strivescan.com backslash Illinois. All right, so that's all for me. Let's get this whole party started now. Our first school of the evening is gonna be North Carolina State University. Awesome, thank you. So let me share my screen. Alrighty, so good evening, everyone. My name is Courtney Sola, and I am an assistant director at North Carolina State University. So thank you so much for joining us tonight, and I'm excited to tell you just a little bit more about NC State. So for those of you that may not be familiar, NC State is located in Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh is the capital city of our state, also the second largest city within North Carolina. Um, also, Raleigh is a part of the Research Triangle Park, which is the largest research park of its kind. Um, so we really like to say that the city of Raleigh really does provide a lot of different social, professional, and research opportunities for our students. And of course, as all of those opportunities are present in our city, they're also present on our campus. Um, Raleigh has consistently been ranked as one of the best places to live, a top area for business and careers, and most recently, one of the best college towns for students. So we really are thankful for our location in Raleigh and for all the opportunities that it affords our students. Now, as for our campus, we are the largest institution in North Carolina. We are proudly home to over 36,000 students. About 24,000 of those students will be in our undergraduate population and the rest in our, are in our graduate level programs. When it comes to the academic experience at NC State, we offer a variety of different experiences to help you really enrich on your undergraduate student experience. So first and foremost, when it comes to academic offer, um, options, we do offer over 100 different majors that span 10 different academic colleges. There are opportunities to double major, we do offer dual degrees, and of course we offer a plethora of minors. When it comes to pre-professional um, advising, we offer pre-law, pre-health, and of, cor of course pre-vet academic advising. Um, we also are home to a nationally ranked College of Veterinary Medicine that we are incredibly proud of. And when it comes to high impact education opportunities, we really encourage our students to participate in co-ops and internships. And again, our location in Raleigh is so conducive to you having that professional experience throughout your undergraduate years. Service learning opportunities are abundant on our campus and in the Raleigh community. And then when it comes to study abroad opportunities, we offer over 200 and different, 230 different study abroad options for our students. Now, as I mentioned before, we are home to over 100 different majors that span 10 different academic colleges. Now, yes, NC State is most notably known as a STEM institution, but I can promise you we're not STEM exclusive. So yes, we have a very expansive College of Engineering that's home to 18 different disciplines. We have a great College of Sciences. Our College of Agriculture and Life Sciences is a huge part of our identity as a land grant institution. And we have a wonderful College of Natural Resources. But again, we're not STEM exclusive. So we offer a phenomenal College of Design, College of Education. Our Pool College of Management is where you will find all of your traditional business degrees, a very expansive College of Humanities and Social Sciences, and actually the largest College of Textiles in the entire nation. So again, not STEM exclusive by any means. Now, more times than not, regardless of a student's academic program, they do find that they are involved in undergraduate research, which again is a big part of our identity and one of those high impact education opportunities that we really encourage our students to engage in. Now, NC State is one of the two research intensive institutions within the state of North Carolina. And again, we're a part of that larger research triangle park. So again, we encourage our students to really engage in research regardless of their academic discipline. Um, each year we have millions and millions of dollars um, in new sponsored research funding. 
And most currently, we have over 170 different startups and spinoffs started by NC State Research. So not only are we a big institution for research, but also a big institution for entrepreneurial ventures for our students. Now, as I mentioned, we are the largest institution in North Carolina, but it is very easy to find your community at NC State. You'll find a lot of your involvement within your academic college. We like to say that your academic college is a smaller setting within our larger university. But we also offer over 700 different student organizations for our students to be involved with. And it's again, a great way to make a big campus feel a lot smaller and to really find your niche and find your community at NC State. Now, in regards to our transfer students, you also have a huge community at NC State. About one in five of our students actually start their career at another college or university, which means about 20% of our incoming students each year are part of our transfer population. So we are an incredibly friendly transfer institution. Now, when it comes to planning your transfer to NC State, we do encourage you to utilize all of our different transfer student resources that is available on our website, and you can see that link listed at the bottom. The most important things I do want to point out for you, one, determine your transferable coursework by using our transfer course credit database. Keep in mind, it is a historical database, so we will only post credits that we have seen before, but this is a great way to understand if your previous credit would transfer to NC State, because of course we want you making the most of your time and for you to really make the best investment for yourself. We have a full listing of all of our majors and minors on our transfer website as well, so you can pick your major, pick the one that's the best fit for you. And then the most important thing to know with NC State's transfer application process is that we are a major dependent institution. So you will be applying directly to your academic program of choice upon admission, and you will be evaluated for admissions purposes based on your academic program. All of our different academic programs do have their own recommendations for competitive applicants, which is a GPA threshold as well as coursework we would like to see completed. So I encourage you to check that out to make sure you will be competitive. Other than that, I hope you choose to learn a little bit more about NC State. You can do so by scheduling a visit with us, as you can see listed on our screen, but also you can fill out our interest form for a, as a great way for you to stay up to NC State and join our mailing list. So thank you for being here tonight. If you have any questions, I look forward to answering them at the end of the presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much, NC State. Next, we'll have Belmont University. Thanks so much, John. Let me share my screen here. All right, well, thanks for being here, everyone. My name is Deanna Meyer. I'm uh, Assistant Director of Admissions uh, here at Belmont Serving Transfer Students specifically. A little bit about Belmont. We are a student-centered Christian community based out of Nashville, Tennessee. My office is maybe 500 yards from Music Row, so we've got tons of majors that pertain to music and the entertainment, uh, but we also have a ton of other majors uh, that may be of interest to you because as you're navigating uh, the transfer process. Here's some quick facts for you about Belmont. We've got about 8,200 students on campus. The vast majority of those are our undergraduate students who make up about 6,600 students. The other 1,500 students or so are our graduate students. Um, you've got much smaller classroom sizes. About 85% of our classes are gonna be 30 students or less, but an average classroom size you can expect uh, from Belmont for most of your classes would be about 19. Uh, students. We've got a 14 to 1 student to faculty ratio. What that means for you is you've got a lot of one on one time with your faculty. We really want your faculty be, to become, in some essence, colleagues and peers as you navigate uh, your time with us and move on into your career of choice. If you're like some of our transfer students who are concerned about uh, you know, whether or not they're going to be the only transfer student on campus, we've got about a thousand transfer students annually who join us. Many come from outside the state of Tennessee, so almost 70% come from outside the state of Tennessee, um, from all over the U.S. and within 28 different countries. So you will not be alone. We've got a ton of students who come and travel uh, to Nashville and to Belmont for a variety of reasons. So you'll see on the screen 
some top majors. Um, of course, we've got uh, the, the majors that probably many of you know, music, business, commercial music, songwriting, but one of our largest majors is nursing. Um, if you don't know, Nashville is the hub and the center for healthcare in the US. We've got more healthcare facilities here than anywhere in the US. Uh, so that is our second largest major on campus, but we've got any major you can think of, um, over a hundred majors that uh, pertain to creative arts and business. We are ranked uh, 13th in regards to innovation on campus. So our students really thrive in a creative environment. You'll see on the screen also some new majors as well. We're continually adding new majors as we hear from prospective students about what they want to do on campus and what they want to do for a career. And as you all probably know, life and, and the world is ever changing. So we are trying our best to keep up with, uh, with those changes as they come along. So I anticipate by the time we do this again, maybe next year, we'll have even more new majors available to you. So some thoughts about becoming a Bruin and the, the whole admissions process. We've really tried to streamline this process as much as possible. We really just need an online application either the Belmont application or the common application, either is sufficient for us. And then we need some supplemental items. If you are a student who has already earned 24 or more college units, we just need college transcripts. We don't need high school transcripts or test scores unless you have less than 24 college units. So 24 is gonna be the magic number for you. You'll see the asterisk at the bottom of the screen. That does not include IP, IB, sorry, IB, AP or CLEP credit within those 24 hours. Um, and we do need transcripts from every institution you previously attended, even if it was a school you went to 10 years ago and you, take, you took one class, we do need that to calculate your full GPA. So make sure you have those all set to us. Typically, once we receive your online application and your uh, supplemental items, you'll receive a decision from us within about one to two weeks. We stay seven to 10 business days. We're usually a little bit quicker than that. Uh, depending on how quickly the USPS can get your mail to you is going to vary, uh, but we try and get those out to you guys as soon as possible. With that admissions decision, you'll have a preliminary transfer report. So we're gonna go through your transcripts just to give you an idea of what we think is gonna transfer where before you decide to commit to Belmont. Once you are ready to commit, you're going to pay a $250 enrollment deposit. That's going to kind of secure your space with us. Make sure that we've got space in a classroom for you and your major. Um, and then at that point, you're going to be able to create a My Belmont account. So you likely have some sort of a student portal where you register for classes, where your email resides. That for us is your My Belmont account. So it's where you're, you're eventually going to register for classes. You'll attend orientation where you'll have access to the housing application and everything. So your My Belmont account is kind of your portal to everything that you might need as a Bruin. So once you have that, you're gonna also have access to your degree works, which is your official degree audit showing you exactly what you're bringing in, exactly how much you've got time left at Belmont. You'll see on the page some of the transfer counselors we have. Again, my name is Deanna Meyer. Each of our transfer counselors really um, reside over a few number of colleges. Um, so you're welcome to reach out to any of us. Certainly reach out to me if you don't know who to reach out to. Um, I'm happy to get you connected with the faculty or staff in your respective colleges. But that's it. Thanks so much for coming, guys. I hope you find this information um, resourceful and that you are given uh, plenty of opportunities to see what's out there for you. Thank you so much, Belmont University. Remember, during these sessions, if you have any questions for any of the college reps at all, please put those questions in the Q&A area. All right, next we're gonna have Savannah College of Art and Design. Perfect, thank you. I've got some, of course, nice visuals to show you since it is an art school. Hopefully everything looks good. <laughs> so uh, my name is Devin and I'm from the Savannah College of Art and Design. We are actually the most diverse art and design school in the nation with over 100 different degree programs. Everything from animation to architecture, interior design, industrial design, film, fashion, photography, video game design. There's user experience if you want to create apps. We have social strategy and management if you want to be a social media mogul. So whatever it is that you love to do for fun, chances are it translates into a major and then of course into a really amazing career. 
and we have had students go on to work for just about everybody from Disney, Marvel, Pixar, Universal to Google, IBM. We have uh, several students actually who work for NASA, one of which is a fashion designer. She's helping to make better spacesuits. And we've also had a number of graphic designers work for both the CIA and the CDC. So they take all of the information coming in domestically and abroad and translate it into a visual so that we can all understand you know, all of these facts. <laughs> so it is really possible to make a big impact no matter what kind of creative career you pursue. And everything here and everything you see throughout the whole presentation is all student work. And in the bottom corner, those are all of our majors. So if anything looks particularly awesome, you know, this could easily be some of your work. And these are all of our majors. So again, over 100 different degree programs. You can design uh, shoes and bags with accessory design. You can design cars and yachts with industrial. There's even themed entertainment where you can design theme parks. So again, it is totally up to you. A lot of our programs are also very collaborative. So we really want you to interact with students from different majors, learn from them, have them learn different skills from you and all of these different programs. Uh, and of course, all of our facilities are there to help you make even more incredible work. And again, some more examples of different student pieces. Uh, we are ranked very highly for a number of our programs. Um, our animation program is one of the best in the country and arguably really in the world. Uh, we have 2D, 3D stop motion animation. We have voice acting classes and we have motion capture devices. We're also the third largest provider of animators to Pixar. And students regularly go to Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, DreamWorks, Leica, Blue Sky, pretty much you name it. We do also have motion media, which is kind of like graphic design meets animation. So it's a lot of title sequences for film and TV. We were voted number one uh, by the rookies, which is like the Oscars for creative things. <laughs> and game design covers everything from tabletop games and board games all the way through to the latest AR and VR. We actually have a whole major devoted just to immersive and virtual reality. And game design is like, $180 billion industry annually. So definitely both fun and lucrative one to be a part of. We have a lot of majors that you also wouldn't immediately think of with an art school. Uh, so there is user experience, again, creating apps. There's industrial design, which is the fun side of engineering. So engineers build an engine, industrial designers design the motorcycle, car, yacht, etc. cetera, that that engine goes into. And so this is really the most kind of important fact about SCAD is our employment rate. So 99% of our 2019 graduating class or 2020 rather was employed seeking further education or both within 10 months of graduating. And that is not a trick. We did not count somebody who got a job at like Michaels or Panera after they graduated. It really is out there in a creative field doing what they love. And chances are you might've seen some of the work of our famous alums. Uh, we have two of the head animators from Big Hero 6, Zootopia, and Moana graduated from SCAD. They've won an Academy Award for their work. The photographer for Taylor Swift's Lover album was a SCAD grad. The top uh, motorcycle production designer for Honda uh, is a SCAD grad. We've actually had a graphic designer win a Grammy for designing an album cover. And over 250 students were involved in Emmy-nominated shows this year. Two of students actually straight up won their own Emmy. <laughs> so we have a really unique program at SCAD where companies like this actually hire us to solve a real world problem. So you can actually be working for these classes or for these companies while in a class, earning credit, but also having an internship simultaneously. And we do have a number of different campuses for you to explore. Atlanta is, of course, a huge and awesome city surrounded by Fortune 500 companies. It's also one of the largest filming locations in the world if you've ever wanted to be involved in film. Lacoste is a medieval village in the south of France where you get to enjoy your study abroad. You also get to go to Paris for a week and really just enjoy life in what is basically a Disney movie. <laughs> 
Finally, with Savannah, we have over 70 buildings throughout the National Historic Landmark District, most of which are really beautiful historical buildings. And of course, e-learning means that you can start from anywhere in the world. You can get an internship anywhere in the world and continue your education. We actually had a photo student complete her entire degree from Antarctica. So totally up to you. And a little bit about the application process. We are on rolling admission, so it is whenever is convenient for you. The initial application is only about 10 minutes. People have done it on their phone. And once you send that in, you will receive a special transfer advisor. They will walk you through the process. Uh, they will, of course, help you figure out uh, which credits will transfer. You can actually apply to us up to a year or so in advance so that we can help you choose your classes at your current institution. We are also a not-for-profit, so we're big fans of scholarship. We gave out over $100 million just last year, and we really are just looking for over about a 3.2 GPA and then an awesome portfolio. And that can, of course, be of your choosing and not related to your major. So of course, if you guys have any questions, we're happy to walk you through your creative career and we hope that you check us out to learn a bit more. Thank you so much, Savannah College of Art and Design. Next, we'll have Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Hello, everyone. Let's see if I can get my screen to come up right here this time. Okay. Thank you again for joining us tonight. As everyone else has mentioned, I am Michelle Parker and I'm the Assistant Director with the Daytona Beach Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University's campus. We have uh, three campuses. We have the Daytona Beach, Florida campus. We have the Prescott, Arizona campus. And we also have the online worldwide campus. Within these three campuses, we do have um, numerous domestic students, international students, as well as transfer students. Um, the two physical location campuses, we do have about 20% population of transfer students. Florida is in Daytona Beach and Prescott, Arizona is about an hour and a half north of Phoenix. Just some, a few things that we would like to note about our University, um, our average class size is predominantly small. It's about 27 students per professors. We do pride ourselves on these smaller classroom sizes. We consider ourselves more of a smaller to medium size university. And at the Arizona campus, it's actually larger in scale, um, but smaller in student body. So we have about 3000 students in Arizona with about an average class size of 24. In Daytona, we have about 6,000. Um, one thing to note too, as well, is our placement rate, job placement rate is 94% of all of our students are working within their degree field within one year or are working on furthering their education. We also do have over 350 clubs and organizations. We also have athletics. We have division two at the Daytona Beach campus and we have NAIA at the Arizona campus. Um, we also have study abroad. We specialize in different things such as Italy, Greece, depending on your degree program. You can do it with business, engineering, etc. Um, we also have all four branches of ROTC on the Daytona Beach campus. And then we have Army and Air Force on the Arizona campus. We do also offer the Greek life for students too. Some of our notable programs. Aeronautical science, I would say, is probably our number one program next to aerospace engineering. So if you want to become a professional pilot or work for UPS, FedEx, aeronautical science would definitely be the way you'd go. Aerospace engineering um, is also a top program and it's offered at both campuses and it was actually ranked number one for 16 consecutive years in a row. Another program that we find very interesting that we offer is the astronomy and astrophysics program. If you want to measure any of those particles in space, this would definitely be the program for you. Um, our Arizona campus is the first college to offer a security area and it's the Global Security and Intelligence Studies program. They also have a new and exciting forensic biology and forensic psychology program, which is pretty interesting. Um, we do have people from FBI and CIA that have actually retired from there that work in these programs as well. The logistics and supply chain management is also very nice. If you are in the business area, you can always add that on as into your major. In aerospace physiology, if you have 
followed the space in the last few years where the twins went up to space and they came back and their DNA was a little bit different. That's where the aerospace physiology program comes in. So we do have a, a wide range of programs. We're not just STEM related. We have branched out a little bit into the biology and physiology areas. How to become an eagle. Um, you would want to go online and apply to the excuse me, apply on, online to our corresponding campus that you're interested in. You can waive your $50 fee by applying this code here, DBPC. If you have completed less than 30 college credits, we would need your official high school transcript, all college transcripts from any college attended. And then we may need some supplemental application items such as your letters of recommendation if you have a lower GPA, an essay, or a resume if you've been out of college for a little while and you're in the workforce. Um, one thing it, I think John had asked us, um, one thing that we could tell you to do for transfer students, I believe that each student should at least write an essay, give us their resume, kind of let us know a little bit about you because we're here and we're only reading what you're sending in. So the more information that you can provide to us, the better it is for us to be able to read your application holistically. Again, we are all here if you have any questions um, and I can put my contact information in the Q&A. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Amber Riddle. That was great information. Remember, as Amber Riddle just said, if you do have questions, please put those questions in the Q&A area for our reps this evening. Next, we're gonna have University of Louisville. Hello, everyone. My name is Brian. Let me share my screen here real quick. Uh, I am from the University of Louisville. I'm a transfer admissions counselor. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I'll tell you a little bit about our university. Um, we are obviously located in the city of, let me, uh, we're located in the city of Louisville, obviously. Um, some things about our city, we we like to think we're a big town and we like a big town feel in a small city or vice versa. Uh, some popular destinations are the Kentucky Derby Museum, Muhammad Ali Center. Uh, we have a, a lot of great museums, uh, the Louisville Slugger Museum, um, lots of great parks. We have a couple, uh, a new professional soccer team. We have um, our sports teams are kind of like our professional teams here. So there's a lot to offer uh, from the city standpoint. Um, at the surrounding areas, we're within about four or five hours of five or six big major cities. So if you ever get the itch to leave town uh, on the weekends or something or, or go home, if you're transferring in from one of these areas, it's a quick little car ride, a uh, couple hours here and there, any direction. Um, a little bit about our school. We have about 11,600 full-time undergraduate enrollment and any time we have about 5,000 graduate students uh, living, working, studying on campus, near campus. Um, we like to promote that we're one of the most or the most diverse university in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. We represent all 53 states and territories, 91 nations. Uh, we have 465, at, at least as of recently, 465 student organizations on campus, um, including ones that students are able to create themselves with I think four other students and a faculty advisor or faculty sponsor. So if you have something you wanna create, a club you wanna create, the opportunity is there for you. Uh, we also offer Greek life. 35% um, of our students are first generation, first time freshmen. So, um, and, we, and our average undergraduate financial aid package is about 13,000. So it's a relatively um, affordable university. We have intramural clubs and sports. Um, and we have been named one of the top LGBTQ friendly universities um, in the nation multiple times. Uh, like I said, our average class size, undergraduate class size is about 25 students. Uh, the ratio is about 15 to one student to teacher. Uh, we do offer some majors and some courses that are the more lecture style hall uh, with a couple hundred students. Um, that includes teaching assistance, but if you prefer smaller classes, you can majority of our majors uh, on campus will allow you to be in a smaller room with a little more interpersonal relationships with the 
uh, professors and your, your classmates. Uh, this is a layout of our campus. Any you can get from anywhere, corner to corner, uh, in about 10 minutes. We also have a shuttle that runs uh, every half hour, 45 minutes around campus. So um, at any point, you know, it's a relatively easy campus to get around and walk around to and from uh, with all kinds of dining options mixed, mixed in with within the, the, the structure of the campus. So if you need to grab a quick lunch here or there, or quick breakfast in between classes. There's plenty of options for that too. Uh, our, we offer several different styles of housing with the suite style housing, the traditional dorms and then apartments, uh, as well as numerous options around surrounding campus that students, you know, houses to rent or apartments to live in. So any kind of housing option you want to come here and enjoy, we do have that. Uh, now, as far as our academics, we have 12 different academic schools. Nine of those are undergraduate level and three of them uh, are at the graduate or um, at the graduate level. Uh, and within there, there are about 200 degree programs. Uh, and like some other people mentioned from other schools, within each program, there are multiple tracks, uh, which is why you don't see 200 on here. But uh, for in our School of Engineering, for example, I think there's six different um, tracks you can take within the School of Engineering to find uh, something that fits your needs and wants. Uh, there's plenty of campus resources on, uh, that we offer, lots of career development center. There's a counseling center, a disability resource center. There's free tutoring all day, every day, uh, in multiple locations on campus that's free to students and run by students. Um, there's also plenty of support staff as far as professional administrators, RAs, student staff, live-in hall directors, uh, and so on. So there's plenty of support on campus for any student who needs additional support. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we have 450 student organizations. We're a member of the ACC, uh, one of the best college athletic programs that we like to promote. Like I said, it's one of our, it, we consider this our professional team here in Louisville, our, is our sports teams. Um, but beyond that, there's plenty of access to um, internships and opportunities and co-ops in Louisville because the, the city works really closely with a lot of different uh, companies and businesses uh, in the city. Uh, we have several scholarship opportunities for transfer students, the guaranteed transfer scholarship if you're coming from a, a school within Kentucky the regional scholarship, if you're coming from about 10 different cities, Chicago, Cincinnati, uh, Nashville, DC, Dallas, Los Angeles County, the New Jersey, New England area, all of Indiana, minus a few counties and all of Illinois. Um, we also have the national transfer scholarship for students coming from anywhere outside of that. Uh, you can apply online at louisville.edu slash apply, $25 non-refundable fee, uh, submit ACT and SAT scores or high school transcripts if you have less than 24 credit hours transferring over. Um, thank you. You can find us here, uofl.me slash findyourcounselor, uh, and you can ask any questions that you might have additional. Thank you. Thank you so much, University of Louisville. Next, we'll have Florida Southern College. All right. Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, let me get my screen share going here. It looks good there. So uh, just to get started here, my name is Joe Madigan. I serve as the Director of Recruitment Outreach at Florida Southern College. I also serve as the STEM Transfer Student Advisor and working with our transfer students in the STEM programs. Uh, if you're not familiar with Florida Southern College, we are located in Lakeland, Florida. Uh, we are halfway in between Orlando and Tampa, about 30 minutes west of us is Tampa, Florida, home of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tampa Bay Lightning, uh, some of the top beaches in America, about 40 minutes from our campus. 
And then about 25 to 30 minutes east of us is the Walt Disney World Resort, home of the famous Mickey Mouse himself. I'd uh, love to mention a little bit about our campus. We have about 3,000 total students, about 2,400 undergraduate students, six to 700 graduate students. Uh, they come from almost all 53 states and territories, including a large portion of our student body coming from the great state of Illinois that you're joining us from here tonight. Uh, one thing I love to mention about our student body at Florida Southern College, it's very diverse, and Florida Southern College, because of our opportunities to transfer students, was ranked this year by Phi Theta Kappa as one of the top 150 most transfer-friendly schools in America. Students find Florida Southern College for a wide variety of different reasons. Uh, one of the first reasons is because we are rated as one of the most beautiful in the nation as far as a campus, actually number two this year. And then we also are very strong in our academic opportunities. We have over 70 different academic programs to study spread across four different schools for students to choose from. I have a list here tonight of some of the most popular transfer student majors uh, by far, our most popular transfer student major would be students going into exercise science and potentially going into our doctorate of physical therapy at Florida Southern, one of the top in the nation for that program. In addition to that, our School of Business is ranked in the top 5% of schools of business worldwide and was recently ranked number one in the nation for teaching in the School of Business by Poets and Quants. We have an outstanding music education program, theater program within fine arts, and then you can see the variety of other majors that students go into. This also includes our health professions pre-health tracks, such as biology, biochemistry, where students are going off to graduate professional schools, including our accelerated options with Lake Erie College of Medicine or into our own four plus one programs that we offer as well. When I speak of a Florida Southern College education for a transfer student, the first thing I love to mention is you are the focus. And that starts with your credits transferring to us. You can bring in up to 62 college credits from a community college or state college and up to 93 credit hours total between a community college and a university. You're gonna start in your major day one when you arrive on campus at Florida Southern. We wanna get you plugged in to professors who teach your classes. We do not have any teaching assistance, no student assistance. We don't have large lecture halls at Florida Southern as our average class size is 18 students. So know your credits are gonna count and that you are going to be supported as a student. I always love to mention as well, every transfer student is guaranteed an internship regardless of the major that you choose. In fact, 60% of our internships that students participate in lead to jobs post-graduation. And those students on average are earning about $10,000 more in salary, whether that being a business management major at the Walt Disney World Resort or being a student like Abby Farrow, getting the opportunity to work with rhinos in South Africa as part of our pre-veterinary medicine program. This leads to outcomes, and that means that students getting into a job or graduate school within six months after graduation, our outcome rate is 97%, and you see some of the location that students have been going for graduate school, post-graduation, students like Abigail Rosenthal posted a picture at the top right-hand corner, who actually just got a 60% scholarship as a transfer student coming to Florida Southern and now going into graduate medical school, and then a transfer student of note, if you are a fan of American Idol, you recognize this young man. His name is Zachary D'Onofrio, who was just on American Idol last night for his audition, is a Florida Southern College student within our music education and music management major. So we're cheering him on throughout this season of American Idol this year. We encourage students to live on campus. We guarantee housing for all four years. We have 16 residential options for students on our beautiful lakefront campus. And we have nine different dining options as well to choose from. There's a little bit of anything and everything for a student to get involved in at Florida Southern with over 125 different clubs, organizations, and activities. We do offer NCAA Division II athletics at Florida Southern College and even some unique opportunities such as club sports and esports at our new arena, water skiing, cheerleading, you name it, from Greek life to campus ministries, to our LGBTQ community on campus, to students that wanna go out and get involved in the community through service. There's a little bit of anything and everything at Florida Southern for a student. I wanna talk briefly about how to apply. It's free to submit an application for admission as a transfer student to Florida Southern. We wanna simplify this process for you. You can apply on our website, 
or through the common application or the coalition application. And our deadline dates are listed here. Your one-stop shop resource as a transfer student is flsouthern.edu backslash transfer. You wanna know how your credits are gonna count? Ask for an evaluation from us on the spot. You wanna know how you actually are gonna get into your major right away? You can see more information on that. You wanna learn about your next steps? That's your main resource to go to. For our transfer students, you'd submit an online application and we'll need your transfers from each and every school you previously attended as far as a college or university. If you have completed less than 24 college credits, that's a theme here tonight, you will need to submit your high school transcripts. We do not need SAT or ACT test scores. Florida Southern College is a test optional school for our first year students looking to transfer to Florida Southern. There's some averages that are listed on here as well. Is our middle 50% of students coming into Florida Southern transfer with a GPA between a 2.8 and a 3.75? If you're a strong academic student, you're gonna get rewarded with scholarships. Our merit scholarships are based on your GPA as a transfer student. We are transparent. We post that on our transfer website. And we are affordable as we stack any federal aid, any institutional grant scholarships. If you complete and submit the FAFSA, you are automatically considered not only for additional grants and scholarships from the federal government, but also from Florida Southern College as a transfer student. Our average financial aid package is over $35,000 for a transfer student. And our out-of-pocket cost is very close to just our cost for housing and meal plan for a student if you're coming into Florida Southern. We are extraordinarily transfer friendly and we want you to see that, whether it be being a PTK student, which give preference to you, we'd love for you to come and visit us on our like front campus. We are open for tours Monday through Friday, four times a day. Or if you're visiting us virtually and you feel more comfortable doing so in the virtual environment, check out our transfer website again or check out flsouthern.edu backslash visit for our virtual tour, residence hall tours, and a lot of options. Thanks for listening tonight to all these great schools. I hope you learned a lot of information. As I like to finish every presentation, go Mox. All right, thank you so much, Florida Southern. That was great information. So our final thing of the evening, I want to have all our reps um, back again and to answer a lovely question about giving everyone advice what advice would you give someone going through the process as a transfer student application process? What kind of advice would you like to give them? And we can go in the order that we presented this evening. Man, yeah, I, that's a good question. I love giving advice. Um, I would say my biggest piece of advice, um, of course, as you transfer it into, to an institution, you want to make sure that that community is the best fit for you um, and everything that school has to offer. And so one of my favorite pieces of advice to give to students is to follow your prospective institutions on social media and follow those random offices, those random clubs, organizations, sports teams that are of the most interest to you. Like if you want to do rugby, follow the rugby club so you can get a better idea of what that community and what that student body is like to know if it's the best fit for you. So definitely utilize social media and follow everyone you're interested in. I'd echo that and I'd also um, encourage you just to utilize us as your admissions counselors. Um, sorry, I'm speaking on behalf of everyone, um, but I get a lot of apologies. Like, I'm sorry for bothering you or I'm, I'm sorry I have so many questions, but the, the fact of the matter is, you probably have not done this before. Um, and as you've seen tonight, every school does something different. So we're here to, to walk with you through the process and to help be an advocate for you as you're navigating that. So utilize us in, in any way you can. Exactly, it's never too early to start talking to a university that you're interested in, whether it's just making sure that you're on their mailing list, even before thinking of applying. Sometimes you can even apply really far in advance and just get like that extra level of help. But we're all here to kind of make sure that we can even help you select current classes that you're kind of going in, in the right direction. We can answer questions. Uh, being just on a mailing list for a university, we can tell you about special events. We actually have transfer events like almost every month where you can actually talk face to face with a bunch of our transfer counselors and get your questions answered. Not to mention like fun faculty workshops or other fun events that occur on any university. Now we want to make sure that you guys know about that to again see if that's the right community for you. So never too early to start reaching out and connect with us. 
just as everyone else has pretty much said, um, definitely want to make sure it's a good fit for you. If you can financially go visit the campus. I know we've had a lot of students come visit and they were completely shocked at how the campus was or potentially it was too city or too rural. So I would always definitely go visit. And as I mentioned earlier, any supplemental documents that you can give us that gives us a better picture of who you are as a person and what, what type of studies you're doing is always beneficial for us at Ember Riddle and I'm sure much of the other institutions as well. Yeah, all great advice. Uh, I would say three or four things. One, make sure the school has the major or a very similar major as what you're looking for. Um, definitely do your little research. Make sure that any credits you've already accumulated will transfer over. You don't want those to go to waste. It's a waste of money, potentially. Um, Look for potential scholarships that the schools offer. All schools offer some form of scholarship, most likely, uh, especially in the transfer office. So be sure to do your research on that. And then um, similar to some other ones, make sure it's a city that you want to live in. Do a little research on the town that the school is in, the cities that the school is in, maybe some surrounding areas uh, to see if it's a place you can see yourself for two, three, four years uh, or beyond. I'll, I'll echo out everybody had mentioned here tonight. And then I'll also kind of mention too, sometimes the early bird gets the worm. You heard a little bit about dedicated majors or space limited majors, applying early for those opportunities, uh, not hesitating to reach out to not only us as admission team members that's there, but also getting in contact with faculty, talking with students. These are the individuals that went through this process with you. If you can ask us as team members, hey, I wanna to talk to another transfer student that's been through this process. And then my last point of advice for transfer students tonight, breathe. It's not as complicated as you think it is that's there. You have great representatives to help you out. It's gonna be okay. We've been through this. We're here to help you. You're gonna make it through and you're gonna find that perfect fit. Even if it didn't happen the first time or you're transferring from the community college to the university level, we're ready to hear and support you. All right, thank you all for some great advice and I hope you all heed the information that I share with you all as well. Um, the event is over now, so thank you all for joining us. After you close this window, you have a quick four question survey that will appear. Make sure you answer those questions for us as well. Remember, recording of this event will be available at strivescan.com backslash Illinois in about a week. Um, representatives, thank you all so much for giving your time this evening. Um, people in the audience, thank you so much for coming to hang up with us as well. And we'll see you all again really, really soon. You all have a wonderful evening. Thank you all so much. <laughs>